<clears throat> How's it going, people? And to some of you, welcome back. All right. Um, let's see. It was last um, last Monday. I tried to do the video that I just finished uh, earlier today, and ended up with a neighbor pounding on my wall, and. Um, Apparently they've gone around and knocked on my door in the past too. Uh, they, I don't know, it's weird because I walk past them, they're always out, because I'm on the second level, and they're always like leaning against the balcony, smoking and flicking cigarettes out over the ledge, but the second I come out my door, they go into their apartment and slam the door. So they don't really want to talk to me or know me, these uh, people on the other side of the wall. They're fairly new. They they moved in like a, I don't know, I don't know about month and a half ago, almost two months ago, and I mean, I saw the Jesus fish on their car, and a bumper sticker that says, I'm right, you're wrong, deal with it. So, I mean, I kind of had a feeling, I, I knew what I was in for, that this was a special crowd that's moving next door. They're noisy as hell. They have a big old dog that they claim is a service pet, but although neither of them are disabled, and uh, the dog doesn't exhibit any discipline or training. I think that's just another case of, because uh, the guy's got a monster truck that he drives around and uh, I think it's a case of uh, some people that overextend themselves and lost their house and they're bitter, you know. And But yeah, my landlady approached me uh, the other day and told me that there had been uh, there had been a complaint lodged against me that that my neighbors think that I might be a Satanist, that I that I'm screaming profanities and blasphemies through the wall at them at all hours of the night, apparently 24-7. <laughs> uh, of course, anyone who's following my channel knows that isn't true. Uh, I might do one or two video recording sessions a week. I might do several videos in those sessions, but uh, but I, I'm going to try to quiet it down some and um, maybe make my recording sessions shorter and I know my voice gets loud and it's annoying at times I've had people tell me to shut up a lot of times that they tell me that it's the sound of my voice and I get excited it gets louder and a little shriller and you know so anyhow uh, I'm almost done with a BOM I got like you know two books left you know ether and uh, Moroni and we're done there so I'm gonna finish um, but I'm not going to be able to put out as many videos with these dickheads on the other side of the wall. They're, um, they're not tolerant and they don't want to know me. They don't want to understand me. They just, you can hear their pillow talk on the other side of the wall. So they can hear everything I'm saying, or most of it. And they're definitely religious Uh The Jesus fish, the I'm right, you're wrong, deal with it buffer sticker. So anyway, uh, apparently they've tried to silence me because I've been told by the landlady, I want you to cool it. And I said, hey, I'm not a Satanist. I don't do videos all the time. I'm doing a video on YouTube. I'm not shouting through the wall. And she goes, well, do it somewhere else. So she's on their side. She's a Mormon, by the way, my landlady. She goes to church right across the, the field from where I live. So. Uh, once again, you know, uh, these people make all kinds of noise. They have company over, they've, I've had them playing musical instruments up till like 11 o'clock and their dog barking its head off and I haven't complained, but I do a video that's critical of religion and they hear me talking and I have to stop. They have to silence me. I mean, they're not just saying, hey, he's noisy, can you tell him to be quiet? They were saying, this is the words, can you do something about that guy? He's a maniac, and I think he's a, a Satanist. Anyway, enough ram ranting and raving. I was a little perturbed about all this, but, you know, I admit I was a little noisy that day. I did carry on too long. I did too many videos in a row, and, but, it was like around, what, 6.40 when the guy started banging on my door, 6.40 p.m., and, I mean, I pointed that out, and the landlady says it doesn't matter. Uh, apparently, at least in my case, it doesn't matter that uh, 
I have to uh, observe special considerations that they don't have to observe because they're on the same side. Anyway, I'm not done. They're not shutting me up. But um, I am going to rethink my strategy, my way of doing this. I think I'll probably do some more, do more DNCs out in the great outdoors, and uh, and I'll still do my BOMs, but I can't do as many. And like I said, they're ready to, you know. I mean, they uh, really don't like what I'm doing, and they can hear me. You know, I, I figured as much. I mean, I can hear them more than I care to. And well, anyway, I'm rambling, and uh, I just wanted to fill you guys in, and that's what that what. What interrupted the last section of the DNC that I was reading? I think it was 38. We're going to finish this by hook or by crook. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you'll stay tuned. I promise to make it interesting if it can be made interesting. And that's how I'm going to do it. And anyway, that's what I'm up against. You know, I'm kind of keeping an eye out for a new apartment anyway. I'm not too happy where I'm at. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but apparently I have to watch out because uh, if anyone's going to get evicted, it's not them. It'll be me. So, stay tuned and keep the faith in yourself and nowhere else. Peace. Fuck. Out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. And hopefully I'll find a new apartment so I can carry on with my evil insanity. And hopefully have a more tolerant uh, guest, you know, uh, neighbor. Or maybe no neighbor on the other side of the wall. Wouldn't that be great? Anyhow, um, I think I might do another video after this. Uh, got a couple ideas. Stay tuned. Goodbye.